ISTQB Foundation Level Question 266 Which of the following is an example of a defect that can be found by static testing but not by dynamic testing? A. A lack of usability provided through the user interface. B. Code with no path that reaches it. C. Full response times for most of the expected users. D. Required features that are not implemented in the code. Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ICQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed and changing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. If you find value in that I do and my videos help you, then you have the option to donate through the links in the video description to I can release new videos on ISTQB questions on a regular basis. Correct answer is B, according to ISTQB syllabus. A code review can detect code that cannot be reached by any path. However, dynamic tests can only exercise a reachable code and cannot determine that code cannot be reached without running every possible combination of inputs and input states, which is impractical for real code. All the rest of the answers are wrong. Answer A is not correct, because a lack of usability provided through the user interface can be detected through a review using a suitable checklist, but the lack of usability can also be identified by getting several typical users to dynamically test the user interface and provide feedback on its usability. Answer C is not correct, because full response times for most of the expected users are difficult to determine without executing the code, i.e. by static testing. So, in this situation, dynamic testing would find a defect, but static testing is unlikely to find it. Answer D is not correct, because a review of the code by someone who is aware of the required features would detect that the required features had not been implemented in the code, and dynamic testing would also be used to determine that these required features had not been implemented. Explanation. Finally, let's look at the section 3.1.3, differences between static testing and dynamic testing in the ISTQB syllabus, where we can see that static testing may more easily detect defects that lay on path through the code that are rarely executed or hard to reach using dynamic testing. This is fully consistent with the correct answer B. I sincerely believe that you are on the right way and won't miss such an amazing opportunity to prepare for ISTQB Foundation Level exam very thoroughly according to my YouTube channel for absolutely free. Only for subscribe. Never give up.